So, welcome to episode 28 of No Shame. We have the Yogurty, Dev Fogarty here. How's it People going? People are going to think, you know, Paddy's just going around getting lookalikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. It's the we two had, greatest ginger beards in Irish MMA, like we had in one room. On. Like. We had the goose on the week before. <laughs> the people are going to think, right? He's getting people, that was his outfit. This is his younger brother. <laughs> He's the midlife Paddy. <laughs> so well, I don't think I'm that much older. I don't think I'm that much younger than you. I'd say so. I, I don't know. Well, I, I encourage the room, I'm only 24. Like, what I'm age are you? I'm 28. Oh, you're too fucking... Yeah, yeah, you not, not that far off, like, but, like, we'll keep that under wraps, like, 24, you know. 24, yeah, 28. Act- yeah, I actively encourage the rumour on 24. How old are you, Dave? I mean, I'm only 24, Jeez, we're going to have to get a younger one again, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, geez, if there's a few nice ginger beards coming up in the scene, oh, though, yeah, I'll stop. Them, like, we set off, don't worry. Oh, mate, come on. Get up. We'll Let's get, we'll get up. 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 We'll do the date. We'll do the date. We'll do the date. We'll do the date. We'll do dates on this now in a second. Yeah, we will. So, Dave Fogarty obviously works as Conor McGregor's photographer. Yeah. and has a, you are a renowned he's probably Ireland's most famous um, amateur <laughs> a, a, amateur mixed martial artist photographer now yeah. you've been there since the start of the day yeah I've been I, I've kind of I've kind of been here been floating around the scene from like nearly the start of it now I, mi- I miss a small bit there was I will give Tommy Lakes his due oh right, Tom, right, right, Tom, right. Tom, Tommy was there was there before me and then Tom, Tom, and, and that's mad that Tommy actually was yeah, like Tommy. Dog of Conor Rosella. Yeah, yeah, Tommy was me before there wasn't me. <laughs> I remember okay. them doing the, the photo shoot where um, Conor and Cottle are screaming into the you yeah. know into the camera. Yeah. And, and the woman they're going face to face and Cottle's like, like <laughs> yeah. And it was actually in a little room on Exchequer Street in the uh, the old SBG and SBG City Centre. Yeah, because I me- I remember seeing all, all his photographs. And then I think he, he moved to is America. He yeah, he is. Tommy's very good. He's very good. And, and especially for yeah. the, the day as well. Yeah, yeah. T- like sp- back in the day when like he was using digital cameras before before there was digital we cameras. Before anyone ups. was using them. But I think he moved to uh, I think he moved to America, and then there was kind of a, a void in the whole in the in the market. So I kind of slipped in nicely. Like you know, I kind of have. It's my, my greatest talent in life is just being at the right place at the right time. Like, slipping in at the yeah, right yeah. time and, then, and is that, it? That's what happened. I was just in the right place at the right time. Just as kind of... It was even before Connor was Connor now, in fairness. It was when he was still in Cage Warriors. I was kind of kind of making a name for myself, building up to the uh, to the amateur ranks, like going doing all the Akumas, the Battle Zones, the, all, all those kind of shows. And I kind of just got a name for myself of photographing the amateurs and... Then it became oh little Dave with the camera like little oh, which one's Dave the little the little fellow with the ginger beard so the little ginger fellow with the ginger beard and the camera so I just shortened it down I was like all right yeah just ginger beard ginger beard photography I suppose <laughs> yeah, let's just make this simple for everybody. yeah we'll just make it easy so, I've heard so many things I'd like this one yeah 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 <laughs> it kind of it originally was ginger beard design and I shortened it to GBD and that rolled I thought that rolled off the tongue really nice. But I was in college and one of my lectures says, What do you actually design? And I was like, Well, I'm nothing, like it just sounds good. So I had to I had to I had to change. I was like, Okay, well I'm like keeping that. the I'm keeping the ginger beard, but uh, I'll just add photography at the end. <laughs> I think that's a better one. Yeah, well I, I, I think so, but GBP is is Great British Pound. So oh, don't, yeah, yeah, see, see, so see, see. You see, don't so. want to be associated. Exactly, exactly, with that failing economy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I, 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 I kind of just Single do ginger beard. failing economy, yeah. man. Not failing. I just, do, I just do ginger beard photos now. So if you're, if you're watching this, you know, follow me on Instagram. Shame on you. But find me on that uh, Instagram, Ginger Beer Photos. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's not me you follow. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. yeah. Mistake, we, yeah. Look, we look alike. For do that. you get quick? Do you get that? Uh, am I, pa- I have been you... Ask when we were away in Vegas, I was you for a good a good six months. People, are you, you're your man. I go, yeah, I'm your man, Paddy Houlihan. <laughs> Great to see you doing some work after the UFC. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We got recognised in supermarkets every time we were around with someone, especially when I was around with Brody and Artem. And they'd be like, are you? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm Paddy Houlihan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to blue wheels when you're green ones. Yeah, I know. A little, little bit. You know, they're American. We, you, you are, we all look, look my, the same to them. You though. look my baby of the Simpsons. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maggie has that little baby. You're too old to be one of mine, Dave. <laughs> So the, the the biggest question is, how many gorgeous looking females have swamped you thinking you are me? <laughs> oh no, we'll keep we'll keep that on oh, our ass. We'll keep that on our ass. Because all your are you there, Fogarty? Okay, message saying you there. Yeah, I am. Yeah, that's me. I, that's I take me. I take all them photographs. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> on my wind up <laughs> I know. my digital camera the old, the old disposables I wouldn't even have to use it I'm the one do I press this one do I press this one That's the, it's not it's not Nokia you don't know how to use it so you, you would have been there at the, the New Year's Eve 
or so the New Year's Eve um, Cage Warriors that used to go down every year. Yeah, I, I like. I actually when he won, I think there's only like 700, 750 seats or something in the in the Helix, but a good twelve thousand. people. I thought you were about to say fort was taken. No. Out, wasn't it? <laughs> a good twelve thousand people will tell you they were at that night. I I will put my hand yeah, up. Yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't there. I did watch it, but I, I didn't. I wasn't there live. I actually don't think I was a. I don't think they'd even give me a media pass at the time. I was. Just, I was before I was even working for Severe MMA at that time. I was. Um, who was I working for? Remember Fight Hands. So I was working for a small Irish. I couldn't even call it a website. It was more of a Facebook page called Fight Hands. It was a Vivo page. Yeah, Vivo page. <laughs> and at the time, I couldn't get accredited for anything. Like so, I uh, I'd applied, and um, K Drivers actually said no. So um, I just uh, I watched it on TV. Yeah, <laughs> he's like. So remember that. Yeah, so remember that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Remember you that said no. I, yeah, yeah, you said no. You know where you were. So they said no. So I, uh, I watched it at home. So, uh, But I'll, I'll tell people, yeah, yeah, no, I was there. But like the 12,000 like 12, yeah, 12, other people, people have told me that they seen they were there when Connor won the, the, the two titles. I was like, but it's only 750 seats in the place. I don't understand how so many people were at it, but uh, it is what it is. So you're probably perfect for... for for, for a photographer because cause you throw some leather yourself so yeah yeah like I think that's like like you said I, like, I, I work for Connor and I think one of the main things that like attracted me to him was because there's so many photographers out there and he's like so iconic that he could have he could have picked anyone like and uh, I think he liked the fact that uh, that I knew what I was doing it's like not only that he, he knew what I was doing when it came to taking photos he'd seen my work and he liked it but he also knew that I fought so I've uh, I fought amateur I've like fought MMA Jiu Jitsu um K1 like Thai boxing so like I think what like the unique thing that I bring to it is I know what fighters want to see mm. I know if this was me what would I what would I want someone to send to me like because I've gotten I've gone through like gone, gone through fights and I was like right that was a good three rounds you know they'll get loads of good photos from that like I threw a few few nice knees and stuff and I get and I was just like what are these Damn like? Shit. These make you look crap. Like, wait, like, I, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Bag, <laughs> with, <that somebody. laughs> with, with an out of focus and my knee going everywhere. So, like, I, I, I know what I, what I, what I'd like to see. So when it comes, I think that's why so many of the fighters in like, your head, you're thinking you look like yeah, Van yeah. Damme. Yeah, so I like, like I, give, I give, I give them that the, the, <laughs> Van, the Van Damme photo. So like sometimes I'll send, like, especially for amateur fights, I'll send an amateur. Photos and I and like I know they think oh, I'm the I'm the man I'm going to the UFC and I look at all the other ones I didn't send <laughs> I'm just like mate you need to keep your hands up yeah. you need to drop that chin a bit but when I send him the photos he thinks he's a god so like I think that's like I know what people want to see and when I'm taking photos I'm aware of the situations I know if someone's dipping their head I'm like okay well, you're gonna get a head kick yeah. like so I'm gonna I'm gonna frame this up next time you dip he's probably gonna throw the head kick so I frame it up instead of spraying and praying like I don't just hold my finger yeah, on the shutter yeah. and hope I get the shot I know what I'm looking you for before, see it. Yeah, yeah. before I even I, some, I go to some do some guy's getting stiff yeah. Like, thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you so mate I'm like okay he's going to get stiff he's going to fall down here I'll scum shield I'll roll out I'll get a nice one so I'm always thinking of of what what's going on in the fight I'm not I'm trying to capture it but I'm also aware of what the fighters are doing if someone's a jiu jitsu fighter and they're fighting a Thai boxer, I'm thinking, okay, you're probably going to get taken down, so this is probably going to move against the cage, so I know at some point I'm going to have to do this, so I kind of, I'm aware of it, I'm not, I don't just, just hope, I don't just hold my finger on the shutter and hope I get shots, like I'm kind of planning out. Sure, is that yeah. what it's called? Yeah, yeah, the oh, shutter, the shutter, the, uh, the spray and pray, so you just go... But that, that is, that's what I was saying. You, you can kind of foretell what's going to happen. Look, yeah. Looking at the jiu jitsu round, you can really tell the next kind of move yeah, what's yeah, coming it, along. It, exactly. You see great music photographers, and like they'll know where to be on the stage because they'll know how the lighting is. That's kind of this. This. This is this is my music. So this is what I do, and like I know when when people are walking out, I was like, I know what they want. So I'm like, they're they're gonna want the nice Irish flag in the background, especially if it's somewhere like the Three Arena. They'll want yeah. their name coming across. Like these are the photos that. The people want to see and like that's I'm like okay I know I know what to give them so I think that's what's kind of endeared me to a lot of the uh, the Irish MMA crowd and that like I'm pretty I, I kind of float in and out like not many people notice me being around like, I had a ghost you were yeah. saying that as well downstairs yeah so I'd say 
it's a ginger thing that is that yeah, goofy thing from years and we years of bullying hiding. exactly we used, we're, we're used to hiding the shadows from being bullied yeah. in school like so we know how to how to get in and around that's places it's a hot day yesterday how did you get on son <laughs> oh it was mate thank god the fact the fact of 50 I have it on my keys at all at all times that's why I have this on I'm I'm like, burnt I'm, <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't I was so for 2.4 seconds I, I, I know how to manage it like it's 2 minutes in 3 minutes out like you know in the sun out the sun that's what I was worried about you because you'll be out in the desert man <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, I was there for six, six weeks, not not even a freckle. But I know it's fact of fifty every day. This is the colour I go. I got white, red, and white again. So like, there's, <laughs> yeah. no, there's nothing in between. Like so, I'm I'm basically an albino. So you were like, all heading out there, I was like, so many things <laughs> there, Fogarty. <laughs> so many things of the chill. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I was, um, no, I was, I'm, I'm well used to it. Whack the sun, the sun, the sun cream on. I got a fake tan, I got a spray tan one day. Fuck off. And I can tell you one thing. You got a fake tan? There's a reason gingers don't tan, Paddy. Oink. My God, I was gorgeous. I just caught myself in the mirror and went, I'm gonna get this more what? often. But it was like, fr- it was like the bleeding thing from friends. So I had never done this. And I went down. We won't name names, so I went down to the tanning to the tanning salon with Jerry, Jerry Vegas. I can only imagine. Key Jer- Joyce. Jerry loves you. You know who you say? Oh, the, the man was living in them. How did Key Tan. Joyce get the beard out of the way? You know what you <laughs> I don't know. I, I always wonder. Does it like? This was says you don't have like a shape like, around. Yeah, I, I, I don't know now, but Jerry was living in the he living in them. Over the shoulder, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He like braids Toy. it up. So we went down to this tanning place, and they go into it. Right. Like, All right, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, they knew him. They know him by name. Off. He's got, he's got his, his names in the system. So they walk Shame in, and I was you, sitting Jared. there, and they go, "You not getting one?" And I was like, "Come on, mate. There's no need to insult me. Like, obviously, I'm not getting one." And <laughs> it, it was, it was actually, it was actually a girl, and she says to me, "You'd look really nice with a tan." I go, "Yeah, I know I would. Who doesn't?" But I go, "I don't tan." She goes, "Why don't you just get a spray tan?" And I went like, "I go, how long are they gonna be?" She goes, "They've gone in for eight minutes." I go, how long does spray tan take? She goes, six minutes." I go, I could go in and come out before they even notice. <laughs> so I went, right, the after party's coming up. Sign me up. So pay me money. And then I go, but it was like the thing from Friends. She didn't, I thought, you know, that she was going to like, it was like like I was a virgin, you know. She's going to walk <laughs> me through. She's going to hold me at the end. So we go, into, we go into this room and she gives me, she goes, you can put that hat on if you want. Not many, some people do, some people don't. Look at the thing, it will count down, turn what around. What do gingers do? Yeah, yeah. So she gives me she gives me this this hat and I throw it on, stand in front of the boot, it counts down, it sprays it all in your face, you turn around, it sprays you again. So I was like, right, Grant, I didn't get the twelve on front and nothing on the back, like happened to old Ross. So I take off I take <laughs> off the hat insane. and only as I take it off I realise I was a bleeding thing pulled down to about here. And I didn't, I didn't even suss it until halfway through the day. I looked in the mirror and it was like someone put bad makeup on. I just had this giant line. So I was there trying to brush my hair down to cover it up. Oh, oh like, It goes to show the these boys to be going through with the time. Ah, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a hassle, like, you know, it's a true art form. Uh, what's that, like, but the a- second I walked into the gym... And someone goes like, Dave, did you get a tan? You look great. I was like, sold. They had me, had me at hello. <laughs> the first one's free. That's the thing. Oh, then, yeah. they get, then they get you. That's like, that's like leading. <laughs> exactly, exactly. The first hit's free. You have to pay for the rest of it, though. You were standing there. So, do you want a spray tan? <laughs> <laughs> no, really. But now I'm hooked on the spray tans. <clears throat> you know what I heard this morning? Just that, it popped into my head. You know them, um, the, the, the wheelie things that go around, the bikes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know they call rickshaws? Yeah, rickshaws, yeah. We didn't know they were called rickshaws. Yeah, rickshaws. And there's, like, there was like, I think it was like 50% of them that are on Dublin last, uh, were arrested for like uh, drug, selling drugs. I, I was going to, I was like, hmm, I probably shouldn't bring it up in the in the podcast, but I was like, but well, I heard those, uh, all the Brazilian boys are all dodgy for selling grass. I thought I didn't hear the yoke. But it's a perfect thing, like they're flying around the city all day, nobody's stopping and them. And you know what you were saying as well, the amount of injuries that uh, a and E's get out of them. People oh, falling down the street of them and accidents I was, that happened. I was, out on the, I was on a night out with my, my mates before and we were in a rickshaw. And this uh, this other one overtook us, and um, so it was a good night. Yeah, I can't remember where. Or actually, I think I do know where we were going, but we we, we won't say. They're family men. They're family men, so I won't, say, <laughs> I won't yeah. name names or say you where we say. were going. But it was a certain gentleman's club. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're in this rickshaw, and this other one just with two birds in it. Now, obviously, on your way to a gentleman's club, the, the, rickshaw. The exact, nothing but the best like for it. us. Like so it. we're coming now. One of one of the lads isn't. Isn't the most petite of, of of men, you know? He's got a bit of size on him. Now he's not overweight. He's not fat by any means, but you know, we're carrying a bit of weight in the back, you know, balanced, spread out evenly. 
I'm in the middle, the two boys either side, you know, spreading the weight out. So we're coming up and this, this rickshaw comes past us with these two young ones in it. And like these two things couldn't be fucking over eight stone. So this thing is flying. This fella's doing at least 40. <laughs> you know, like, is like, like, bam, this is like Lance Armstrong before he got done for the roids. Like the fella's calves on him were huge, <laughs> flying down. And he goes to take the corner. And obviously the weight like just wasn't spread out proper and the thing goes ninety. All you see is some bird from uh I'd say she was over the south side somewhere, but skidding along the bleeding path on her face. Oh, we just drove past her and just went, Dad, she is gonna wake up minus about four teeth. You see him walk out in town any Saturday night, the amount of rickshaw injuries you see is reading horrific. <laughs> I was only when I heard it on the bleeding radio, I was saying, that sounds like great fun. Oh, <laughs> you can get them to race and all, like throw them a tenner and they'll be racing each other and all, it's great crack. Yeah, like, battling the rickshaws. Oh, you, gotta, you just got to pick yours, like, you know, got to check their teeth and all, like Yeah, horse, checking like, their like, toys and yeah, all, like, yeah, yeah, seeing how they are, like. <laughs> looking under them, with peanut butter around there. You take your life in your hands and those things, though. Those boys be flying in and out of traffic. I was in one in Amsterdam before I was, and like, the guy nearly killed a, a fella on a boat boy, and then he wanted to hear the screams out. <laughs> Ah, you <laughs> take your life in your hands. It's only a bike. Like people think that you're all safe, like, and they think they're safe as well. Like, you know, just because you've rules, just because you've right away doesn't mean it will protect you from a bang of a car. Like, but those rickshaws are something else. Them like, boys are ready to mount on. Oh yeah, notes. they're gone. They're Some gone. Boys, they're Back to live somewhere else <laughs> in the day. <laughs> they're they're gone off. They'll just <laughs> no relocate. Relocate. If you're gonna be a rickshaw, don't put your roots down. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Carry your house on your back. That's <laughs> it. They're in the back. Good rickshaw advice. You know what? Be good to get one of them on. Put him on our list. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. rickshaw drivers. I'd love. I'd say they've stories. <coughs> window say, cleaners. That's what we Yeah, window saying. cleaners and rickshaw drivers and graveyard diggers. <laughs> Grave diggers. Yeah. Well, I'd say they've bear. I'd say they've dug up a few things. Stories, I'd you know say what I mean? so. Halloween, we're gonna get one of them on. But definitely, any window yeah. cleaners out there, get in touch. Yeah, hit us up. You already had a rod hog. Was a window cleaner. It was. That's where I'm getting the window cleaner from. We had a magician that was a window cleaner. That is an eclectic so mix. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, oh, that's some CV. Yeah, and he's savage. Yeah, yeah, I actually, actually seen him. I went down and looked at his stuff and I was like, Jesus. He's like, dying on all you. My opinion now, he's, he's incredible. So, like, it has to be a mental. How, how like, you get 12 hours now. How does this work? Um, how, how do you stay ready, is what yeah. you say? Isn't it stay yeah, ready? Yeah, so, like, everyone, everyone asks me, like, how did, you, how did you get a job working for Connor? And I just think, like, this, the same thing. Like, Connor's, like, my, like, famous saying is, like, you don't get ready, he stays ready. Stays ready. That's how I got my job. I stayed ready. I stay ready. Like right now I have my phone on and my phone there sitting there looking at just it's a bit early now but just in case it's a bit early <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, yeah. it's so like I just, the middle of the night you mean I just get a, I just get a, a, a text go here and I go here go there and I go here or I go there like I get a uh, I get very very f- like few like very little notes I'm the king of last minute like I literally do not leave my house without a, a pair a, sh- a, a pair of clothes and that, and my camera bag. My camera bag comes first for anything. Like check before before I leave the house. I was like, yeah, camera bags in the back of a car. You never know. Like could be going anywhere. Going to like a family wedding. My camera's in the bag. And again, I'm not taking pictures of anyone. I'm not taking pictures of anyone. I just get it. I get a phone. I'm like, right, I gotta go. And I just bounce. Damn, that's like Batman stuff. Yeah, I, I like. I tell people I'm on a um. I'm like a doctor. Except without the wedge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not a doctor's wedge. Yeah, I'm not on a doctor's wedge. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not hurting, but you know, I'm not on yeah. the doctor's wedge. Yeah, I'm eating. I'm yeah, eating. yeah, we live in good. We live in good. Don't make worry, you like, make you know? rich, then. Yeah, be, exactly. Won't be so ready. You gotta, you gotta stay hungry. You gotta stay hungry. Exactly. That is the main thing. And that, that, that's what, that's what I'm doing. I'm like, uh, I just stay ready, and I'm just, I'm just. I'm really ready for anything. I used to think I was a sports photographer. I used to tell people I'm a sports photographer, like, but I'm kind of like a documentary photographer now or a lifestyle photographer. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do or where I'm going to do it. Or, like, I've no time to prepare, so I just got to show up, evaluate the situation and go, right, just do it. Just do it, Dave. Like, I've shot him on crazy things. I've shot him on, ro- like, while I've been on, he's on a roller coaster, while I've been on a roller coaster. I shot him on a jet ski while I've been driving the jet ski, speed boats, uh, up the top of mountains in pitch black rooms, like private jet everywhere. Anywhere you can imagine, I've I've I pretty much shot him like so. In the show. Like that is that like the generally the bathroom is where I draw the line. Like I'll follow him up to the bathroom, you go, okay, and then <laughs> <that's> like, <laughs> what I, I, do, I do say generally because like he seems to get like I just remember in Vegas one of the most like famous pictures is uh is him talking with Lorenzo 
uh, with Frank. Oh yeah, Lorenzo and and Dana. And of course, it's in the toilet. It's in the toilet. The US EPI. So uh, it's some of the best conversations. Yeah, it, the they toilet. go they go down. Someone like you always said, some of his best business gets handled in the jacks. And uh, it does. So I, I could. I was like, it's in the toilet. I was like, but this is pretty much like the three most iconic figures in in combat sports. So I was like. I have to get it, so I snuck in and and got it. So you've got some belters. There's no doubt about it. There's some like so, so a lot of the photos that, that we would see kind of upload and stuff like that would would be originally yeah. taken from the, the the lens of your camera. Yeah, all the good ones. <laughs> all, the, all the good ones. The odd the odd time one or two that that wouldn't be mine would sneak into the Instagram feed. But generally, generally they are they're they're, they're all mine. Like I've got, I've got like ten I think ten hard drives now full of. Like Conor McGregor images, like I do, especially if the tax man watching, I do work for other people. So like we'll just get that. Out. We'll get that stipulation out there. So I do do other work. Like I've worked for people like uh, Glory Kickboxing. I've um I work on Bam as photographer. So I've worked. I like I do freelance. I've worked with models and stuff. So I do do other work. But the vast majority of my work is 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 with Conor. So I've got. Like literally hundreds of thousands of images of of, of Connor. Kind of like that's what I was going to say. So so of, of of one of the most iconic men in the world. You like yeah. there's people that have photographs. You probably have the most photographs. Yeah, of everybody for sure. It's 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 crazy. Like we did when, a list of numbers of people that had photographs of Connor McGregor. Now there's probably some guy yeah. in Kentucky somewhere that I don't know now because I have I have I have like I enjoy. The biggest thing I enjoy with taking pictures of him isn't the big events. Like I've photographed, I've never photographed him. Uh, I've never been accredited to go cage side for one of his MMA fights. And the UFC have always said no. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that changes. Uh, that's but, uh, um, they want to keep that. They they want to keep they. So get the images. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they want to. They 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 know who the best they is. You know, they, the back end. yeah. They 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 see who's coming. But I have him. So I have like training camps. I've got his his fight with Floyd, all the sparring things. But my favorite thing to take him is just the downtime. Is when he's just being him. He's hanging out with his family. It's it's him, D, and the baby. Like photographs of most like people will probably never see because they're just for him. But they're the things that I that I love doing because he's this huge celebrity. He's just like he's bigger than he's bigger than like so many things like so many other celebrities and like. I kind of forget like that he's he's Conor McGregor like you know sometimes I just see him he's just it's just Conor like you know I'm just following him around taking photos I think like, that, but that that's probably a huge part of why you are in the position where you are as well you know yeah because I mean? you're loyal that you're normal yeah I think I think so I think he doesn't like he he doesn't notice me being around too too much when he does notice me I don't think I don't think he mind like I think we get on good like he knows he can be comfortable around me he knows that like no matter what like if it's a bad photograph it's not going to get posted it's not going to end up anywhere he knows this we have is, that we have that trust, loyalty trust yeah he, loyalty. he knows he has that trust in me that like i can take all these him and d with the baby playing somewhere or going to smith's or you know just doing like everyday things and they'll probably like i could come out he could call me and i could be doing anything and i could go do something like them going to smith's or them going shopping and the photographs would probably never use for anything, but he knows that I'm not going to post any. That I'm just going to send them to him, and they're going to live wherever he wants them to live. Oh, but that, that's the main thing, because that's yeah. like, and, and I think Connor's so good at that as well. Um, the idea that he knows that he he, ha, he has to have a plan for everything. Yeah, and yeah. So the plan for the photographs in his life is is you. You yeah. have a plan. Yeah, and hopefully. Like the big thing I'd what I'd love to do is because we've like you were saying we I've so many I probably have like one of the biggest like banks of Conor McGregor images in, in, in the, the world. world. So like I'd love to make a um a photography book like a coffee table book. That's my goal. That's that would like be... it's like the it's a never ending story. Like where do I start? Where do I end? Like do yeah. I include just the Mayweather camp? Do I? And do everything like I have. You could tell a story. I with. photographed with Connor before. I was working for Connor. That's what I'm saying. So I yeah. photographed with me where I had to sneak my camera in to to where he fought Aldo. I had to sneak it into the weigh-ins because I wasn't. I was only. Um, I, I, I only had a ticket, so like I had to. Did you stick it up yours? I uh, no, I gave it to Andrew McGann. What oh, he right. did to it is how ah, he got in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the McGann. Yeah, the McGann. Leave <laughs> it up to him. He'll, <laughs> he'll, get, he'll get the job done. It won't, be, yeah. it won't be. the Keep most the confident. Camera, get it done for you. <laughs> but he'll get the job done. <laughs> so he snuck it in for me. How do you um, get a camera snuck <laughs> into an well, event? He, he was. He was a. Uh, he was a, a member of the media. So right. I just gave him. Then I met him, and then we're going behind the fourth wall now. This is why I'm not a. 
accredited to the US. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Tim. <laughs> but this is this is how to get him to sneak it in, and then like I was looking back at photos, so I was like, I photographed me like forty rows back, where Connor's only like four pixels on my screen, <laughs> and now I'm like, I'm sitting on like I'm sitting on a private jet with him, like and we're just like just talking like it's like it kind of like so it's just like a, it's a quiet times that like that i'm like whoa like i'm doing this like it's like when i'm standing in front of doing the weigh-ins for when he fought mayweather or, or like when mayweather had that when we had that thing he doesn't he doesn't know how close he came to getting to getting single legged but uh with those oh, things oh yeah yeah those yeah. things that just work for know, me even in that photograph there like like that's a dangerous photograph. Yeah. If you know something about the people in that I photograph. know he just looked at me and went, Look, I'll get I'll get in the little little ginger lad face. I was, Look, mate, you don't know what you're getting nah, in. No, the like, chest flying triangle coming out of the yogurt you can see. I'll pull I'll pull X guard like that, you mate. You know, Daryl Dar- O'Connell's giving me the detail. I'll yeah, put you on your I'll deep. put you on your back. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't make me do my martial arts. Yeah, yeah, I'll make headlines. <laughs> the only thing Simpsons. the only thing that stopped me is I knew I couldn't afford the lawsuit. <laughs> I was like, he's yeah, but sometimes that makes you even more invincible. <laughs> You know what I mean? I was like, I don't think they I'm able to get it. They figured out that you can't afford it. Also, that means you're not fucking mortal. <laughs> exactly. But it was, it was mad, like mad times like that that I, that I just like for that one. I'm, I'm just doing. I'm just working. Like you know, I don't even take in really. So and I just think of the end product. I just think of visuals. Like I just think of okay, like this needs to be cropped this way. This needs to go this way. He can use it like this. Like that's all I'm thinking. So then when it's the times where I'm just sitting there with my camera sitting beside me and I'm not taking pictures, I'm like. Holy shit! I'm in like New York, or I'm I'm in yeah. here, and like everyone told me to stop. Like everyone told me to stop doing this. Like who did? Uh, when I was in college and just coming up through it, like believe it or not, Paddy, this may come as a shock to you, but photographing amateur MMA, there isn't a great deal of money in it. <laughs> so there was times where I had to do like so many other things, just literally to pay. professional yeah. fighting, eh? I know. <laughs> if, you think, <laughs> if you think that's bad, try and take photographs of you. If saying. you don't have yeah. any money, I definitely If the guy's punching each other in the head, I'm not making money. big money. The guy's taking pictures the and they're punching in the head. If, like, I, to, I was travelling everywhere, like going up to like, on a Saturday, I go up to like Northern Ireland. But this is a good little thing because this is where the people don't. Um, this is this yeah. Is, people don't see this part because when you were doing that, like so, if I say to somebody do something, like not, I don't say do something for me now, but I give them an opportunity to do something. Now, yeah. They turn around and say to me, "What am I gonna get with it?" Yeah. They never look. Like, it's never about what you said. Like, yeah. Getting in your car, driving up to the north, putting your work in, and you doing it for five years without anybody without, ever like, hearing of you, and not getting like my like I get a hundred likes on a photo, and I was thinking I was rich. I was like I've made it, like you know. Some people 100. listening to this go, yeah, cunt. Still only got eighty. <laughs> Keep growing, no. you'll get to that hundred. We're gonna go into that now in a second. How, how seen, to get other people to likes up? <laughs> I seen this as a uh, as an apprenticeship. Yeah, here, so and I was like, you have to put in your graft. Same thing. Yeah, you have to put in the graft. Like there's people out there doing like going through their apprenticeships and they're doing it and they're making no money, but they know at the end after four years, I'm gonna be a fully You're qualified. Be qualified, yeah. So fair enough, there isn't a direct path to it, but I knew I'll just stay at it. I'll I'll, I'll keep going. I could see it. I could see like um. I think there is a direct path that most of the stuff done, which is saying sorry yeah. to cut you off there. Because the idea is just make it your whole life. Yeah, you just gotta make. If it's something you really like, if you do it t- till you just cannot do it anymore. Yeah. A path will reveal itself. One one big thing that, that that was for me when I was going when I was doing it, like I was coming up, was um, I was so I was working for Severe MMA at the time, and we were doing all the like I don't think an amateur show. I'd say for a good daddy original boys as well. Yeah, yeah oh, daddy, out. daddy, oh geez, Graham, Graham McDonald, and all the lads, uh, Pete, Sean, even we'll, we'll give him his two seconds. Andrew McGann. And I know Andy's, and, no, Andy's, Andrew, a, man, Andy's, Andy's a, a man. Andy's a man. But um, they like they, those boys did like if it wasn't for them. If it wasn't for severe MMA, there would be. I don't think there would be. Well, they start. So, they're, yeah. as I said, they're the kind of the idea of the guys that they definitely weren't making any money, but they oh, were the first ones on yeah, the scene. Yeah. They, like, we were driving around. I don't think for a good solid, I'd say a year and a half, not two years, there wasn't one MMA show that we didn't go to. If, if there was an MMA show on and it wasn't covered by severe MMA, it, they, they, there must have been something wrong. Or there must have been two on at the same time. Like yeah. we would cover everything. It's so, like we drive up to to Northern Ireland. We'd we'd go to Cork. Like I remember one time we drove around. It was for the first time Bama came to Ireland. And me and Andrew drove around. I say literally the whole of Ireland. We went to every single gym that had a fight. If you had a fighter on the card, we were coming to your gym. We interviewed them. We did photos. We did everything. 
and like look, we put in a serious amount of graft for this and like we didn't get paid a penny. We got we got we got a bit of free lunch, you know. We go somewhere and someone would feel bad and they take us out and we, we get a bit of free lunch for. It. But like we knew Turn up and look starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look starving. Yeah. Don't drink that water. Look a bit yeah, look a bit look dehydrated. Hungry, you know what I mean? But we were going around and we were, we were putting in we were putting in a graph, like like hours hours of work every every week and we weren't getting anything from it. But we knew that like at the same time it was like at the same time that Connor was coming up that we knew there wasn't just Connor it was it was Neil Siri at the time it was yourself it was uh Carl Pendred Ash there was like a group that we knew that was just on the verge of making it and then once they made it to the UFC that's that's how we get that's how we, that was our ticket to to the big to to, to show what we could do well, on an international you be scale pictures like of the people that you were taking pictures of already yeah like I was taking pictures of people in this like I have people like James Gallagher. I have pictures of his amateur fights mm -hmm. and now he's like, I have pictures of him as a pro. Like, it's kind of like that now that I realise like, it's all these people that I did take pictures of at these shows when we were driving up and down the country that they're really starting to make big names. There's people like Reese McKee, like, like I said, James, Kiefer Crosby, like just people like that that I have their amateur fights. Like I remember seeing Kiefer in fighting A.O. Daly in, um, in, in Cage Warriors. Like I have that fight. I like, and then he turned pro, and he's just gone on this this tear, and now he's looking like a world beater, and like he, you can just tell from from he's gonna go far, and so in years to come, like when these are the next Conor McGregor, and I'm like, I have pictures of you as an amateur, like it kind of makes it all worth it. I didn't get paid for, it, but that's why I learned my craft. That's why I learned to do what, this. What, like what you picked up there is probably the most expensive photos because they're the ones that everybody wants to see the photos yeah. somebody, what they were before before they yeah are, they are now exactly and the thing is if you look at them photos you'll see that when you're walking on that road it does change it it forms you yeah. it makes you like I know if you look at a photograph of me when I first started on man like <laughs> I look like you Dev there's a bit more of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've got the roof going on you got the ears you've got the beard and all, yeah. but, uh, now the idea like anybody is, if you look at them they're, they're just a total different person the yeah. road forms you yeah yeah it, it, there's now like someone like someone messaged me yesterday about how do I become a coach in MMA and the idea well, I was doing what you are doing with photography yeah. when I was doing it like I was driving to the north and doing someone's corner driving back down in the middle of the night yes. paying I, for the pay for myself we used to see it everywhere we used to see you up in you'd be up in Belfast one day then you'd be back down the, in the ringside club and you're just everywhere and like that's that's the kind like you can't get into the and I think photography is very much like MMA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get into it if you want to make money. You know, if no. you're going, I'm going to get into this and I'm going to make money and I'm going to make this this. It's just never going to happen. You have to love what you do. You have to love it. Like I love this. I love taking pictures. Like I love MMA and I love taking pictures. And now I've just managed to somehow to like the grace of God have managed to like form the two of them in together. Like and now I. I make a living doing what I like. What I love is taking pictures of MMA. Like when I was in college, it's all it's all I did. All I did, I turned in every project I did was MMA, MMA, MMA. MMA. I bet you were that annoying person oh, in the class. Now they, they, they all never all stops, hate and now they're like, Prick. yeah, and every everything. Okay, what are you gonna do? Do this and on. I'm gonna do it on uh, MMA. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, just stop. Oh, like, was that know, boy? Oh, you not just do yeah. do some do fashion photography or do does does great money in wedding photography or like try product photography. And I was just like. Everyone's mm. doing that. I, don't I was like, in. I don't want to do that. Like, I was like, I don't really want to do this. I was like, I'm going to give it six more months. And I was like, I'll give it six more months. And when I finished college, I was like, I'll give it six more months. And the first job I got out, the first paying job, I had, like, I've, I've had jobs before and I've worked for other people, but the very first job I had when I finished college was working for Connor in, in, uh, in New York. It was the very first job. I, I graduated college the day, the, so the day he, he weighed in, I graduated, I graduated from college and I remember I was fighting at the time. So I got up at like six o'clock in the morning and I'd gone down to the what, you know, Phil Nurse's gym in mm -hmm. New York. So I went down there, I trained in the morning and then I was walking back up to my hotel. And normally I don't walk anywhere. I'm like, you know what? I'll get a taxi. You know, it's all about, it. I love going places. Hey, sunshine yeah, comes out. I love, sunshine. I love going places, but I hate getting there. But I was like, you know what? All those good endorphins and training, I go, I'll walk. I'll just walk back up to her. So I was walking back up to it was like Midtown or Manhattan or wherever it was in, in New York. And I just remember like everyone was, all the shops were kind of opening up because it was around eight, eight o'clock. Like, so everyone was starting to go to work. Like, it was just such a cool like buzz in the city. And I just remember thinking like, everyone told me to stop doing this. I was like, here I am in New York, like, and I'm photographing like one of the most iconic people in the world. And 
was like, this is, this is just the best. Like, so if anyone, like, if you have, like, if you want it, like, it's so, it's so cliche and like, oh, it's no. sound, like, everyone's like, oh, just do it. Like, I don't really agree with that whole, like, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, oh, if you want it bad enough, you do it. You, you, you won't. I wanted loads of things that, that haven't <laughs> happened. Like, you know, I want yeah. a red, I want a red camera. I want a phase one. I want it really, really badly. Doesn't mean I can afford it. I can't. But if you just devote everything to it, like, you will make it happen. I can't afford a red camera, but I know I can afford I can make those those images from something I can't afford. Like you don't need the best gear or the best of everything, but if you just love it enough, you will make it happen. You'll find a way to make it happen. Like there is no excuses when it comes to like doing doing what it is. And if you put in enough graft, people will start to recognize it. Like because I see people and like, oh, how how did you get so many followers? Or how did you do this? Like so I didn't do anything special. There is no magic plan. Like I didn't do anything that anyone else isn't doing. It. I just loved what I was doing and just kept doing it. Like, even when I was making no money, even when I was losing money doing it, like, I was losing money driving up the north, I was still doing it, and I was still doing it the next week. And if I hadn't gotten this job with Connor, I'd still be doing it. I'd, yeah. st- I'd be flying to to KSW to shoot Paul Redmond on a card. I'd be going to, like, Poland to after Chris Fields. Like, you know, I'd be following all this. Sounds like a hitman, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For. yeah, well, it kind of is. Go like, you got to know where it is. going to get to Chris Fields. Chris Fields, exactly. <laughs> but I'd be doing all these kind of things, and, like, that's that's just the kind of graft you got to put in to do it. 100%, like, and, man. And you're, you're 100% on the ball there, the idea of, like, that you never know when the door is going to come, yeah. and you never know when it's going to open. And you know what? The sad thing is, as well, that sometimes even when people do put in the graft, it doesn't come. Yeah, it doesn't. But that's come. the risk you're yeah, taking. Like, yeah. Um, someone that has put in so much graft and 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 I and I has worked out for them is, is PT Carroll. Yeah, yeah. PT is what a man. PT is the man. I lo- like one of my favorite human beings in the whole world. I've always world. had great admiration yeah. for him. Oh, he's any time I'd ever think of. Okay, this is. This isn't working because, like, I'd be the first me. I had doubts, like, you know, there'd be times where I could, I had no money to pay rent. I'd ask my ma for a lender money to pay but rent. I think the like, worst part about having doubts is having other people in your life yeah. that add to your doubts. Yeah, to add to it, going like, maybe I should just do <laughs> weddings. I hate weddings. Yeah, I hate maybe everything. Maybe you should. It. And you're like, oh, my like, voice is going on already, man. I'm yeah, I'm like, not even, I'm not even, I'm not even fully qualified. Yeah, I'm not even out of college, and already I'm like, maybe I should stop doing this. And I call Pete and I'd be like, What's up, ET? Like, you know, <laughs> and he taught me off the ledge. He taught me off the ledge so many times. He's just like, Look, you're great at what you do. Like, you know, it will happen. Like, so I was just like, Okay, you know, like, I'll I'll step back. You know, he taught me off the ledge. And like, and then you see, seeing where he's done it, like, he is, he's one of the biggest grafters in, in, in the country. In not, not just in what he does, he's no, a phenomenal yeah. writer. Phenomenal. Like, Very when he puts writer, yeah. stories together, you feel like you know the person. Like, yeah. like PT is amazing at what he does, and it's great seeing him getting recognized with such a big website like MMA Fighting. But there was, there was times where, like, well, Peachy was in the same boat. Like Peachy would be calling me, oh, yeah, just going, maybe the two of us, maybe the two of us should get into weddings. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, where, me and you. Where, like, there's, there's just as little money in being a journalist in MMA as there is being a yeah, photographer. So and the two of us would have to go back and forth and be just going, no, look, we're gonna get there, and it will. The sport will get recognised, and it will, it will. It will be okay. Like, so a few times that like, it, it it is, you'd you'd have to say to each other, like, look. We're just gonna have to. We'll see it out for another six months. We use like, the trailblazers in when you look at it, like um, like journalism and, and photography. And yeah. The same way, like a lot of the younger lads would have been the old the older lads would have been the the oh MMA is a career. So yeah. MMA popped up as a career, and then as I said, I was only having this conversation with a mother yesterday because um I, I won't get into the story, but our son really mad about MMA, but he, he yeah. might not be able to pass a medical when he gets older. So yeah. it's like. How do you put what this? Do you, what do you, you know do what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, well, there's, there's like cut men, there's referees, so, yeah. there's, 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 if you wanted to be a ring boy now, yeah, yeah, in, yeah, you know? yeah, there's there, just start doing the squats. There's crazy lads. stuff, <laughs> yeah, 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 squats on, start yeah. now. But you know what I'm saying? The yeah. idea is, it, it there's such a like, um, a, like a door at the opening into careers yeah when they would steal a graph to grind them it's not like you, you pick up the the echo when you see a job for a photographer yeah yeah you'll know and that's that's the other thing for MMA look is like and that's something that like it made it like not made me feel but like it made me question there is no there is no like like I was saying it's like a um it's like a it's like an apprenticeship but there is no okay you go here you go here you go here you go here okay there is no like okay check my marks along along that you go okay I've, I've done this I've done this 
it's it's all doubt. Even even today, even even now, I still doubt. There's Monday mornings that I wake up, and I'll have no, I'll have nothing booked. I'll have no I'll have no job for the whole week, and I still sit there going, "What are you? What <laughs> are you?" You were saying this to me, and then you get a message. <laughs> yeah, then I'll get a message, and I'll go go do this, or go here, and I'll go do that, and I'll, <laughs> and I'll go there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just craziness. What a day to change. What a message to change. <laughs> to today. change your day, but like it is. Like I still wake up on Mondays, and I'm like, "What are you doing?" Like you know, you're like. You're nearly 25. <laughs> nearly 25. <laughs> yeah, nearly I'm like I'm nearly 30, and like, you know, I don't have any, I don't have a job for the week. Like, but like, there's too much put in. That's that's my like. That's that's the life I have, and like that's that's the way I do it. There is no certainties. Like you know, every day is different, and that's that's what I love and hate about the job is that there is no certainty. I could be doing anything. I could be here. I could be. Could be anywhere. I literally have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing next month. Like I don't like someone. Someone asks you like, "Oh, do you take holidays?" I'm just like, "Yeah." I just don't know when they're gonna be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, and it could be anywhere. Yeah, it could be anywhere. Like, Can't be, wait to go on my holidays. It's, it's like, like could be with anyone. It could like, be could, could be anywhere. Doorway. Like so, I have no idea. But um, but it's that's just pretty cool. Like yeah. the thing is as well. Look, like, um, you was you mentioned that about Connor as well. The idea of seeing him around is in his normal time. And to me, that's probably one that I like, yeah. enjoy being around him in that Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Like where a lot of people, no, we want to be at the show with him. I want to be at the... Yeah, you know they want to be... I would more be a type of person where I'd rather like... Yeah, be like, on a, a side with him. Like my favourite thing in the whole world, like it sounds so weird, but it's, it's, I actually love it, is when we're going somewhere and we're like walking. So I'm taking pictures and I'll stop and I'll look around and I'll just look at normal people recognising him. I can see, and it's the age is just crazy. It'll be mothers with like their ten year old kid, and they're pushing the kid out of the way, trying to get their phone out quick enough. There'll be like like people from every corner of the globe, every like businessmen to street performers to everyone. Everyone just loves them, and like I just love watching and just clocking people. So I'll be like looking around, like looking at their reaction. I see the double look, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Oh, and you can see him. You can see them working over their head. Is that is that your man? Is is, is that who it is? Like, and I love that. I just think it's so crazy. Like, and it, it it's it's everywhere. It's not just like oh, it's yeah. not just in Dublin. Like, no. it's like like I like seeing it in Dublin, but like we'd be like in New York walking through somewhere, and I'll see him. In LA, I'll see him doing it with somewhere. Like every no matter in an airport and like in a Starbucks, and you can see people surprised. They're like, what? Is that Conor McGregor in a Starbucks? And it's like, something you could vouch for it as well. Yeah, say that. Like, yeah, Every con- single person normally gets a photo and is like, he's so grateful for it. Yeah, and he is. He's so grateful he's for so the grateful. person asking them for the photo. Yeah, where and most he'll, give, people he'll, give people that, he'll give people the time. Like, I've seen him and he's, I know he's in a rush. Because yeah, if, yeah. if you know Conor, he's you know he's in, if he's going a somewhere, he's meant to be there 15 he minutes. In a rush, yeah. He'll get there though, he'll get there, he'll get, but I can I see So I was saying, I was like, if I'm late today, Dave won't win. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm only an hour late. <laughs> only an hour, buddy. That's, that's nothing, that's, that's nothing. nothing. I spend my life waiting. <laughs> but I can, see, I can see it and he'll stop and he'll take pictures with people. But the thing that people got to realise as well is he's a person as well. Oh, like man, he's, man. If he's with, if he's with, D and the baby, he's living. He's got to live his life as he's well. He's not even like, having a, like. When does the baby get the bottle? Do you, did you change his nap? Yeah, yeah. You? But that, pe- that doesn't exist this in other people, people's cause heads. Because people see him and like, oh, I'll never see Conor McGregor again. I, 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 I have to. I, this is my once in a lifetime opportunity. But he's thinking, I gotta, I gotta get home. The baby's here. Every I gotta get this. Every moment of his life yeah. is somebody else's is, opportunity. It, it's, that once in a lifetime. It, yeah, exactly. That's and mental. He, he's that got responsibility, on and you. he'll give people that time. But I just think sometimes people just gotta give people. And it's the same way. It's not just kind of. It's like with every celebrity. You gotta realize at the end of the day, they're people as well, people, and they've yeah. got to. You've got to kind of respect their space. Like I think the thing is now that um, I, I heard. I don't know who. I can't remember who it was. I heard saying it, but it was. Uh, he said that he pitied famous people now. He said because back in the day it was like an autograph and it was very rarely a photograph yeah, you know yeah, what I mean he said yeah. now we're it's a photograph and not only that you know people are not as good as you taking photographs it's a given it's like, <laughs> it, 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 we're born with it <laughs> people talent. take a photograph and it's like hold on my left side is not yeah, done yeah. and it's not oh, like, it's you're not blurry. taking one photograph you're taking four or five photographs of somebody if I can give any anyone a piece of advice if they see a celebrity and they want a photograph have your phone ready. Have your phone ready. Have your phone ready. Have it on selfie mode. Yeah. You don't need to give it to someone else to do it. You don't need to give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. don't need yeah. to give it to me. Yeah. Can you take this? Can you take yeah. this? Yeah, have it on selfie mode. Have it ready. And if they say no, just respect the fact that they, they've said no. That it's your once in your, your lifetime to see him, but it's his Tuesday. 
or it's his Wednesday or it's his long day or he's coming home from work or yeah. it could be any celebrity you just got to realise that they're people too that just because they're on TV or just because you see them on, on Instagram or whatever doesn't dehumanise them that they're no. people yeah. and people have bad days everyone has we've a bad day we've had conversations day. about dehumanising people there's, there's ways <laughs> there's, there's ways, ways. Yeah. but you just got to um, respect them so, I think it's great and they're kind of paying him a bad picture he he very rarely says no. He'll always take take pictures with people. He always gives pe- people the time of day. And I think like it's something that, that doesn't get shown too much in the media. It's like how good, especially, especially to the Irish. Like we'd be anywhere else and it's, it's you know, we're in a hurry, we're in a hurry. And then you'll hear like a West Kerry accent <laughs> or you'll hear a strong inner city accent. All right, come on, right. come on. Of course, the Irish has to get. So you, you gotta have a, you gotta have a soft spot for for the brethren. No, then, <laughs> only yesterday I had a row with a blade of renting a strimmer off a man. <laughs> and I had a row with a man off a Conor McGregor. What <laughs> many rows? And my many strimmer rentals. Oh, stop, man! <laughs> if someone says something, you know what I mean. That's it. That's go. Like I'll defend. To me, it's as I said, it's not like a, it's not the. The, the, the celebrity kind of it's, yeah, it's, it's someone saying something about your mate or yeah, yeah, you that's, say something like, like uh, that's the way I look at it sometimes now. people say something like well, careful what you're like especially because people don't people talk who like I am okay and, and they don't yeah, know yeah. what like what I do and like so I'd be sometimes and they'd be talking about it and I'd be like relax with, relax what you're <laughs> saying yeah, there. Like, yeah. what do you mean like just just relax there he's a, he's a nice guy he's a good family yeah, man so, like, you, know, you get to see that side of it as well, yeah. you know what I mean so you, you understand it as well as the idea of he's not yeah he's he's like I think he's he's a person. He's a person. He's, a per- he's, con- he's, he's kind of like there is moments where he's he's kind of McGregor to me. I won't get it like oh it's this like he is kind of McGregor in this moments. I'm like holy shit like I'm photographing Conor McGregor like this is this, <laughs> this is fucking wild. There's other parts where it's just we're doing something and like it's just it's just like talking chatting to your mate like. So the love and the hate do you get both as well? Yeah, I get more. No, definitely I get more. I have more more love than hate, but like really? I, I I I still I still get get the, the odd bit of hate now, and people like calling me a, a leech and stuff, and like, but I, I don't I don't mind. I just I just laugh. I'm just like you know what? I wonder how some of them people like. I'm just like why are you so negative? Leave? Yeah, but how do like how do some of these people like? I couldn't like I don't think I've, I very rarely went on the internet and said something bad to somebody. Yeah, I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think I've ever done it. Like, like I may have gone on and, and put a tied my mate in an else like comment, but as a laugh, like but a I've, bit of a laugh. I've never gone on. Deliberately try to ruin someone like, and I've got messages that like, I'm like that would that would ruin your day. That would that would take, that that would take the, knowledge. Yeah, like people have said things to me that cannot be taken back, and I just look at it just going like, where are you? Like, you know, like people saying, oh, you're just you're just sponging off and you're just a leech and you're just this like, and I just I, like, I I just see myself as like I make something for him. Like if it wasn't for me, all these pictures that people are, are like, and like I'm not always tagged. Sometimes I am, <laughs> but like you know, it's he. People wouldn't have seen these if it wasn't if it wasn't for me. Like being around, like doing do, do, it. Like so, I'm making something. And I'm like, I'm I'm very passionate about about what I do, and I I really do feel that I'm actually like this. These are like I have pictures of Connor in in my house, like hanging up, and people think it's real weird. Like oh, you've you've loads of pictures of your boss, and I'm but like one uh, the, one of these one of the photos you got um like an international award for it, didn't you? Yeah, like I I won. The the Smedia Sports Photographer of the Year, and I won a true series of images that I did on Connor. It was the first time that a, a combat sports was nominated, and obviously then it was the first time that it won. So, like when I have all these pictures hanging up, and I like make books and stuff, like I see not as pictures of Connor or of someone I know. I just look. Like, this is something that I've made. This was nothing before I ca- I did it. Like, but it's a trophy as well. Yeah. It could be the equivalent of like fishing. Why do people take pictures with fish? Yeah, yeah, ex- ex- exactly. It why wasn't in people- my hands till I went and caught it. Yeah, exactly. Why did like why do people display things? Anything that they're proud of. Like I don't see any difference between me taking a photograph and someone doing a painting. No. It's still yeah. art. It like I made the camera do that. I fixed all the settings. I positioned the light. I like. Like, because I never ask him to pose. I never ask like that. I think that's one thing. The that, man walks in a pose. Yeah, and I think but there's one naturally thing. Naturally, like yeah, and I think that comes across in in my photographs. And I think even when, if sometimes there'll be other photographers there. Like I don't always have like exclusive access, if you will. Like sometimes there will be other photographers there. And I think one thing that separates my photographs and theirs is you can see the kind of comfortable around me. And I don't ever ask him to pose. Anything that comes off is natural. And I think that comes across in the photographs. I think that's really important and it's really important for anyone who I work with is that I want them to feel comfortable around me like I'm like look 
don't just ignore me. Just pretend like I'm not even here. Like I like I give people memories that I give people memories and moments I didn't even know they had. I'm like looking at going, oh, I didn't even know that happened. I'm like, yeah, that's that's why I'm here. Like that's 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 my job. It's to it's to give you these moments and to give it to people like that. Like people say, like I have and like I've done things that like I've only been doing this two two years. I've finished college two years. I'm only a prof- like a professional. Two years. Some people sitting there twenty years. Yeah, twenty years. Still have to make that break. And I've, I know that long. At like, if something had happened to me on the way home, I know my photographs will last long after I'm gone. And that's something like that. Like people work their whole life to to get like. Yeah. And so sometimes I'd be sitting there just kind of like looking at and like one of one of the other weird one of the other weird things I like doing is um when you post a photo on Instagram is I like sometimes I'll click into the photograph and I'll just refresh the page. And just every few seconds refresh it and just watch the number climb. And I'm just like, this is mental to me. Like a million people have liked the photograph I took. Or like, like this is what I was gonna say. LeBron James will comment under it, Justin Bieber will comment. Like, okay, they're not commenting on it because it's mine, it's it's cause it's Connor, but like still a little ego part of the back of my head is just going like, holy shit, like Justin Bieber just like he likes a, f- a photo you took or like Drake has commented under it or Obel- Odell Beckham Jr. Like, and I'm just like, this is craziness for me. Like for someone who was told maybe you should take pictures of kids because the original... Like a lot of people, if you had to tell them like, th- th- like these people would see their photograph yeah. their face, that would have been enough, let alone <laughs> like, like I'd, it. I'd love my biggest, like I was terrible in school, like awful, like so bad. So I've like my biggest thing is I'd always love to go back to the school that like I was pol- I was asked to leave three times politely declined I said mm, I'm alright I'm cool where yeah, I am I like this <laughs> yeah you know what I know the buses I know how to get in <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, could, stop yeah. I couldn't be arsed trying to figure out where, <laughs> where to go yeah. <laughs> so I poli- politely declined I've always wanted to go back and just just tell anyone doing the leaving so this academics is not the end of the no. world like I did awful still managed to get into college. Didn't do that great in college. Like, I did okay. But I was like, you don't have to do it. If you love something enough, you will find a way to make it happen, no matter what that is. Like, it's not telling people, like, education is very important, and you do. Like, 100%. if I could go back, I would tell, like, listen, just get a bit of get a bit better at maths, mate. You know, listen a bit more in maths. It will it will, it will pay off in the it end. It will pay off. Yeah. yeah. But if you love something, you will find a way to do it. Like, what do you say to a lot of people about education is that, like, um, treat it like a, like a fight camp, if you must. It's a test to see how yeah. you're going to react to something yeah. that you don't know, that you have to figure it out, and that you have to do. And someone's like, we're not going to use algebra when I'm older. Yeah. It's not that you're going to use it. It's how, how are you going to act when something comes at you. It's like, yeah. like life lessons, you know what I mean? Yeah, and like, even A lot of the kids doing the youth, uh, a lot of the teens doing the leaving certain now that I teach and all that stuff, will be like, oh, I'm going to miss trying. I'm like, listen, it's one thing you lose. Yeah. When you when you capture that living state, it's it's done. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. You mind you, we've never used mine for sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, I've lied about mine. Yeah. I've lied about mine all the time. <laughs> it's an Irish thing. I'm like, I got, I got 400 points in my leaving state. I think I got like 360 it's or something. Like, like but you just gotta round it, round it up. Like, it's no like one's gonna check. Weight. What weight are you? Uh, 80. Yeah. <laughs> 80 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if somebody says, yeah, you're right. you oh, I got uh, nine honors. Yeah, yeah. You just make sense. You just round it up. Down or up or down. So, uh, the end of uh, get to the end. We're gonna wrap up here. Um, so people putting their own photos groups on Instagram. So guys that are coming up now as yeah. photographers, and as you said, you're watching likes go up, and, yeah. and like I don't care what people say. Um, I'm actually trying to stay away from my social media as much as I can. Yeah, yeah, oh, and it, it can be bad. Guys, like some guys, some people are extremely addicted to likes now. Yeah, <laughs> but like, like, and it's mad how crazy. Like, I've heard yeah. Connor saying this as well. Like, when people have been taking photographs from, like, like, they go get your likes there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'd be like, fuck, we only clicking in my head. Do you oh, know what I mean? And you'd see people kind of like scrabbling together because, yeah. like, like, maybe that, it, like, when you when someone meets a famous person now, that that's actually what they're after. Yeah, and it's yeah. Not the idea of. Like, I've seen people asking for a photo who don't know who he is. Just I've just seen other people asking for a photo, and it's a phenomenon. Like, if. If if I followed you around now, if I did with with you or anyone, if I if I did with anyone, what I do with Connor, if I just walk in front of you and start taking loads of photos, I've a I've a big camera. You can ask the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so I've a big camera, big lens. It looks like a professional camera. People are going, he's important. He must be someone. I want to get a picture of him, and they won't even know who it is, but they want to get a picture. We have to go so tell for me, obviously. <laughs> well, love you. You're a household name, a bit like me. <laughs> but it does. He's like, like Paddy Ulan's taking pictures of Paddy Ulan. <laughs> It's like, see, walking with a mirror in front of him. It's like, it's like, like that musician or that musician. But I, um, 
a lot of people like I've noticed myself doing it. I'll put up a photo and I'll, I'll it's like my bait. I'll check on it. Like how's, <laughs> how's check how, on it. How's, how's it doing? Going like what do you mean? It's only got a thousand likes already. That's that's way better. It should do more. And sometimes I gotta gotta just click and just go look. It's not. I'm not defined by how many likes I get in pictures. Like if I take a picture of you and I take a picture of Connor, the exact same. Doesn't I won't change anything. The exact same pose, exact same everything. I like your Paddy, you're a man. But his is going to get more. Oh, and, that, and it doesn't mean that that's a better photograph. It just means he's a bigger audience. He's more recognisable. Yeah. So people are going to click on him more. So, like, I get sucked in and be like, oh, like, this only got that much. Like, I thought it was so good. Like, it doesn't mean it's not good. It just means that, like, okay, the audience on Instagram didn't like it. But that's not the end of the world. Like, obviously, like, even with other things, if you're doing, like, music or sports or, like, anything, if you take a picture of Beyonce, it's going to get more picture, more likes than some upcoming band. It doesn't mean that that upcoming band's photo was bad. It yeah. just means that... Oh, they're not as good. Yeah, they're not as good. It just means that you just took a picture of Beyonce. Like, likes are brilliant and... I don't care anything, they make you feel warm inside. <laughs> like, they, it's social gratification. That, like, that's what you're looking for. No, you know, when, you, when you're putting no, it out. Not. But that's what people are getting sucked in for. They're it putting this out it. here and they're going, okay, well, a hundred people are going to like this and then I'm going to be cool because they've, they've, they've told me this. But you can't, you, you just got to do it for the love. Like, some of the photos, some of the best photographs I've ever taken will have never made it to Instagram. And I know, like, I've, I've taken a photo and got that. That's a banger, like, That's you know, cracker, yeah. fair play, Dave. Like, it's sometimes, because most of the time, I'm like, I'm awful. This is terrible. Like, <laughs> But yeah, you sound like an artist, Dave. And, like, and that's, go, that's right. Yeah. Know? That's Cause, it. Because that's what it is. It's, it's an art and it's not just for talk. Anything you're doing can be an art. If you're, if you're like, if you're a bricklayer and you're, you're, you want to be the best bricklayer in the world or you're a plumber, you want to be the best plumber in the world, you just got to make it an art. Like, anything, like, just because it's, it's not pen and paper or ink and a canvas that makes it an art. It's how much of you, you put into something that makes it an art. It's called martial arts because people put their whole life into it. And like, it is you. Because when it comes to fighting, I'm the exact same. I'm just, like, I want to take the best photograph po possible and I want to win every time. Like, I want to, because it's me. It's I'm putting myself into the situation. If I lose, I've lost. It's not Roddy's fault I've lost. It's not my training for yeah. partner's fault I've lost. It's my fault I've lost. It's the same thing when I take a bad picture. It's not the camera's fault. So I was like, oh, if I got... A, a 12 grand camera this this would be amazing like it wouldn't it wouldn't be like Instagram's only that big it's not going to look that much different it's going to be that big it's going to be my fault that I did I didn't put the sentence right I didn't evaluate the situation enough to know that where I should place my subject or, or, or sometimes I, was, I just didn't I wasn't paying attention enough so there's times I'd say when you're on you're, you've seen a photograph and you've been like do you know if I had been standing a little bit more to the left I'll, I'll, I'll look right. at things and I'll go I, I rushed that I yeah. should have come this way. I should have asked him, like, I should have dropped down or I should have placed him here. Like, there is times, like, that, like, I do, and you got to be, you, you got to be, like, not harsh on yourself, but you got to be realistic. You got to go, okay. The yeah, end, it's exactly him. You got to tell yourself, this is a good photo. Like, this is, I did good here or I did bad here. You got to be honest with yourself. Because I find myself too much, I'm like, I'm terrible. Like, he's going to call me, he's going to find, like, I'm I'm a bleeding paranoid mess, Paddy. Right, like, gee, I send I send photographs, and I'm sitting there in the edge of my seat. So I'm this I'm this small. I'm sweating. I just sit there and sweat. <laughs> be, look, be looking, and I see I see that scene. No reply. My heart is becoming through my chest. Gone. I'm I'm on I'm on I'm on beating jobs. Back to the back, back, back to back to back to the call center. Going, you know what? That call center wasn't too bad. I'm shitting it. Terrible. I'm like, what if he hates him? He's gonna fire me. And and my whole life. And then like my whole life. What am I gonna do? As a boss, what's what's he like? He's br He's lovely. He's brilliant. Yeah. He's he comes like, across to it, Yeah, he? he's really nice. And fair. He's he is. He's very fair. Like I was saying there, you got to be honest with yourself. He's honest with me. He'll tell me they're great. Love them. And I'm like. That's eight hours in the bag, mate. Gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Or he'll tell me, cause that that shit. I go, you should have been here. Like, why didn't you get that? And he's honest, and that's what I want. And you'd see, yeah. That, and then I will learn from that, and then because I kind of learned what he likes and what he expects, and I always want to go beyond that. Yeah, go, if this is what kind of expects, or it's not even kind of. It could be anyone. Could be, could be doing like a. I believe in shampoo commercial. Could be doing anything for anyone. Could be a communion, which I am available for. I don't like doing it, but I am available. <laughs> yeah, I'll do anything. <laughs> it could be anything. It doesn't matter what it is. But if I like to see, okay, this is what they expect. This is what everyone else is doing. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do it better. And that's what, 
like that's got to be for everything, no matter what it is, like no matter what job you're in, you got to look around your situation, look at what everyone else is doing, and go, okay, I have to do better See than that. that. Rock quote, isn't yeah. it? Be be the hardest worker in the room. Yeah, yeah, and you do. You have to be like you have to be. No matter like this is I got this job from staying ready. And from and that like that that's a skill in itself is I'd coordinate my whole life around around this and this is before I was getting paid because I was doing this for Connor or for everyone for a long time before I was getting paid and I would still treat it the exact same I don't treat it any different from day one till tomorrow I'm I stay ready I approach every situation. Do you notice, do you notice people now like that maybe wouldn't have been like even people that people would that everyone would know uh, that have been on the scene say for a long time. That are now your mates. No, not your mates, but it's like Yeah, I do. All know. right, Dave, what's yeah. the story? But before, before Yeah. It was like, yeah. You like I've like got that with me before. Yeah, I've got like I don't like I'm not like I wouldn't You don't have to mention any names. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say like I'm just like online so like, like no, no, yeah, but yeah. like I've got a little following for myself and I do notice that like people are like like recognise me the odd time or like a lot more people would be like, Oh great, great job, like, great photographs or whatever. I'm just like you weren't that big of a supporter from the start. <laughs> the only person who's been there from the very start to the very end is my mum. She is my big. She is Marion Fogarty, absolute dog. Fogarty's follow, follow, follow her on Instagram. She, I don't think she follows. <laughs> she, she follows me, Connor, and the Mac lifestyle, and that's it. So don't expect to follow back. She better give me a follow. Yeah, she actually will, Paddy. I'll get her to follow she you. Will follow, yeah. She will. Once she, once she hears I was on the No Shame podcast, oh, she'll be all stop, over man. you. Mom she's a hard. Me. She's a hard woman to get to follow. Man, they don't love me as much. As <laughs> <laughs> like, housewife's choice he the wouldn't love him choice, anymore you know I mean? but, she's, but they do like me she's an absolute don how she's do you differentiate when you put a picture up so say a picture of your walk um, yeah. set a rap about half an hour ago <laughs> um, of your walk you put up a picture save yourself yeah. and then Connor puts a picture say, how, do you, how do you not get hello darkness my old friend like we, we put up the, go, we put up the same the same picture like, <laughs> yeah. cause I can see it like I'm like I don't mind so you just not refresh million. that page no I, I will I got back <laughs> but I just look at it again and I was like it's a picture of Connor but it's something I've done so this is this is a million people appreciating it's my work you're right yeah, yeah. And like you draw a people picture who know up, people who know know like people who know people who care about who took it will know I took it so people who don't care who took it won't care I took it so it's right. kind of that way like the people who know know and the people who don't I don't like I don't even I, I don't enjoy care. a photograph that you take I have to say now no thank you or, like I would sit and and I think like I've got I'm, I'm I've got my own kind of like little style I think people kind of really yeah, kind of look at it like oh that's that's a that's a fogarty yeah, <laughs> it's not a saying yet but like it will be it will be eventually yeah, like you know yeah. um, two more things they do anyone coming up anyone photographers coming up like um, that, you, that you've seen that, like, that uh, who I like that you're like oh shit like maybe there's a few really good like there's a few my there's a um, oh, what's his name on Instagram there's my friend Lauren is amazing. He does post Malone stuff. He works in the academy. Like he does um he does amazing work with like um like light trails and he does like all run, like stuff for lifestyle sports. So a lot of like runners and stuff. Like I oh, look at that and look at the way like he shoots um the way he shoots cars and stuff. And I'm like okay, I I I could do that. I could put like kind of there and I could use use this. So I look at like a lot of people's work and not like I look at like famous photographers' work, but like Lauren is really good. Evan Doherty is amazing like his studio stuff is just like his portraits and stuff he does are just phenomenal like I look at his work and I'm just like one day I want to be a real photographer like him <laughs> yeah yeah what, what, one day have you seen him Yaya yeah, yeah. is really good Yaya yeah, is very good Yaya's yeah, yeah, um, videos are amazing Vi he, was he a video photographer his, his, video, his, his videographer? videographer is really good but he's, he's a really good photographer like he's yeah, no, and whoever yeah. whoever he gets to take the photographs of him are really good <laughs> and I'll give him one thing I'll be looking at the other hang on He's a handsome man, isn't he? He's, he's a handsome, like, he's a handsome young man. man. <laughs> I'll tell you. Do you know, I'll tell you, my little situation. He messaged me on Instagram about starting to do something. And that's how it goes. That's and how I, I, that's that's how I got my job. Like a video thing um, that I was doing out in Dundrum one time. Yeah. I was doing it at a Heaton Boxing Club. Like yeah, Hawk yeah. And, and, yeah, I see, I seen the video he, he did. Yo, he met me there, so I was like, fair play to you. Because yeah. some people are all talk. Yeah, yeah. And he has never, he hasn't stopped pumping the wheel since that day. And he's doing, he's, with, he's doing great work. He's doing great work with Peter Creeley. Like, if, yeah. if you haven't, if you haven't seen his Instagram, I'm sure you, I'm sure you just have, you just watch it, but if you haven't, like, go yeah. on and... Don't worry, he's a shame. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Is. If you're wondering, is this his, 
if it's a load of picture gra- pictures of him with, with a, t- a few MMA tone in, it, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it has it's shamelessly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at my last post. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are shameless. Well, look, you can't. He's a, he's a great self promoter. Yeah, you like, want to meet his dad? Really, Have you ever met his dad? No, no. His dad is mental. Oh yeah, yeah he's his, his dad, older his dad comes into the reception and all. He does be like, and he does be pretending to be like, I want him get in. He does be like, he's, he's, like he's screaming he's, in. He's really good. He's though. Like, can you fly a plane? That's what he's been like. And he's like, he's in there all the gear, like, and, he, and boys, we like, oh, have kids, like, what? What? And he'd be no. panicking, like, can you fly a plane, son? You know what I mean? And he'd be, oh, kids just panicking, like. You can see him. He's, he's a buzzer. Yeah, he's good, and he's got good self-belief, and that's, and that's just, just one thing that you're saying about, he messaged it. That's how I got my job. You've got to put yourself out there yeah. as well. Nobody, especially in any creative field, no matter what it is, no one will come looking for you. No one will. Like, I got this job. No one's opening up a book and saying, no. I'm going to look for a photographer today and picking yeah. that guy. Yeah, from yeah, the no one will. You have to put yourself out there. And like, I got this job by a message. I sent him a picture on Facebook and I just sent it to him and didn't hear anything from weeks and weeks and weeks. And I, I can still remember where I was when he when he first messaged me back and how crazy it was seeing his name come up in... Did you wet your jokes? Oh, stop, of course I did. <laughs> That's good. I just remember sitting, I was, sit, I was, sitting, I was sitting alone in my, uh, in my um, sitting room Watching, watching TV, my phone just went off, and I looked down. And I went like, because you know, it comes up yeah. Conor McGregor, and I was like, holy shit, like Conor McGregor's messaging me, and I was like, come down, photograph training for a week, and we'll see how we'll get on. And that was in 2016, and now I've been all over the world with him, like, and so it's crazy. So like, my one piece of advice for anyone, any, in, especially creative, now it goes for any any job, but especially creative, you have to put yourself out there, you have to realize that none of your work is ever going to be perfect but you got to look at the good and the bad side of it you got to go okay this is good and this is bad and just move forward but the most important thing is is putting yourself out there networking and never being afraid like no job is 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 you know ne- you're never not good enough to do a job that was something that kind of held me back at the start i was like oh i, I, I couldn't do that like you know like this is this and I, I can't do that and now i just show up and like i don't know what it's going to be it could be anything like i have no idea what we're doing i show up and i just look around and i go okay What's it for? Okay, and I just do it. Because I know that I've been brought here to do something and whoever's brought me there obviously likes my work, obviously likes what I do yeah. and I'm going to do it no matter what it is, whether it's Connor winning a fourth world title or someone's bleeding kitchen. It doesn't matter. I'm approaching <laughs> that with the same passion and the same thing as that I'm going to do this the best I can and that's that's all I can do. And you know what? I think if you approach your best ability, that's yeah. the best thing here. Like I approach this the same way as I approach my fighting. Like I hope I, you approach this podcast. I, every time I shit <laughs> last night thinking of all these things I was going to say, all these stories I had in my back of my head which I haven't told one of them. I just ended up rambling but it is. It's the same thing. I was like, right, I'm going to do this the very best way I can. We'll this finish is, on this right yeah. then. What was the most... One of, no, do you know what? Two things. If someone's putting a photograph up now on Instagram and they are a younger photographer, what what's a little bit of advice you give them? Because Yaya has gave me some advice yeah. and stuff like that, and, and other people that have gone yeah. so. Because it has to, you have to, it has to be presentable. It has to be. Yeah, it if has you're doing a video if you're putting up. We've noticed like, if you put a video up, people don't like a video as much as they would like a yeah, photograph. Yeah, a photograph because they watch a video and they move on. Yeah, like you don't get bogged down on how many likes you get. Like that doesn't that doesn't equal or take away from how good you are. You present it the way that you want it to, to do so if you're saying like okay everyone else is doing like this that doesn't mean you have to do it like that yeah. do it the way this is your work it speaks people will judge you on your work before they ever meet you people have formed an opinion of you before they meet you if you put out all this work people will expect he's going to be like this so your work does kind of speak speak to you don't don't deg- like Instagram will degrade the quality as it is. So try and present it in the best quality possible. So don't be like sending like Facebook and like taking it off your phone, because it just destroys the quality. And um, don't be putting a million hashtags. <laughs> don't yeah. put a million hashtags. This whole comment, follow for follow, all, all that. It's just 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 put it out. Shameless. Yeah, it is. It is shameless. Just put it out the way that, that that you want. And as long as you're happy with it, that's that's the most important thing. That as long as it. you're happy with it, it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. I think like. there should be a button where people can hide their likes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think if you did that, it if you could make, put it away, yeah, if you could just be like even when you were saying there a minute ago, like the idea is that a lot of people will judge themselves off like the yeah. outside party, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like I catch myself there and then sometimes just like stop like your own self esteem yeah. is literally your own self esteem. Yeah, yeah. If you if you don't have control of that, you have control of 
nothing you, yeah you can shit. only feel how you like no one can affect how you feel about yourself I think Ginger's leaning in yeah you know, yeah we learn it we learn it we learn it because like no matter what you say to somebody they always have a comeback oh, it's the worst you will have the wittiest comeback in the world you've red hair and you're like what's the worst Ginger thing you've ever been called a louse if you call me a louse, you put your hands up because it's time to go. You red it's, louse, it's, is it? It's, oh, you red louse. It's, it's fucking time what to go, Paddy. You red donkey. That's what no, I don't mind. I don't mind. Ginger, I don't mind. There's just something about the word louse that, get, that, that gets She's up. She's saying that, yeah, that's bad. It's bad, isn't it? Like, it's, it's a dirty word. Like So if you call me that, like... Get, and I, the people will hear this and go, oh, I'm going to call them messing. If you call me that in the street, you put your, you put your dukes up, sunk as we're going. Don't, <laughs> we're let little, go. don't let this little don't let this little exterior um, fool you. I'll throw, I'll throw hands, mate. I'll throw yeah. hands. Mine clicks the shorter. <laughs> <button. laughs> yeah. uh, I'll throw can, hands. You can throw hands. Give us one story. We'll finish up on this. One of the most craziest situations you've kind of found yourself in, bouncing around the world, or uh, a late story, or an early story. Or, give us it. One, okay. Pick one. The. Uh, I, I'll, I'll do two two quick ones. The craziest situation, because people are like, where's the craziest thing you've ever photographed him in? The craziest situation I've ever done is when he ha- when he uh, hired out Funderland. So we're in Funderland. We're no, going around. Dead. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're going around, we're taking photographs of him. And then he goes on the roller coaster. So I take pictures, I'm getting on. And he's sitting there looking at me, and I'm looking at him. And I'm like, he hardly... This is a bleeding roller coaster. What, like, what am I meant to get on this? <laughs> so I end up having to get on. And I carry, like, if people have seen me, like, on the... Like, if you ever see me, you'll see me on my bag on my back. And my bag's fucking heavy, like. You know, it's a good good 15, 20 kilos, like, easy. So, like, I'm always going around with this big, heavy bag on. So I just get on and put it down. And then, just as the thing comes down, I realise, bollocks, I'm on a fucking roller coaster here with my with my uh, my whole livelihood. Like, don't worry, it's only my livelihood. So I'm trying to keep my bag squashed in between my legs so it doesn't because there's loops and all of this thing. So as we go over a loop, I have one hand holding my bag. The zip breaks on it, so I'm holding my bag close with one hand, looking upside down. So he's I'm upside down and he's below me. So I'm like that, in the middle of a loop, trying to get a picture of him, trying to hold my bag closed, trying to make sure everything is is, is in focus. And then we get off and he just runs off. <laughs> like it's nothing. <laughs> Doesn't even notice. You were shaking still. And then the other one, we were going, I won't say where we were going, but we were going somewhere and I'm sitting at home and I get a message. We're going here. And I go, you don't have to convince me. Uh-huh. I go, when's, when's, when's the flight? He just goes, 45 minutes. In half an hour, I was sitting in that airport, sipping on a uh, sipping on a um, an espresso, waiting for waiting for him to come. I am the king of last. You were minute. sitting in a coffee shop. I was a coffee, wasn't sitting. Well, this is Platinum Services, Paddy. Don't worry, oh, they'll bring the know. they'll bring the coffee oh, to you. I'm doing those boarding queues, and that's the thing that will spoil you. He'll spoil you like that because I know in the back of my head I could never afford any of this, and there will be a time that I'm gonna have to go over. It. Like I'm shooting Glory kickboxing on uh, on Saturday. I've got a quarter past six flight by Ryanair, and I know there's no platinum services that day, Paddy. Well, <laughs> I hope you have a priority queue at least. <laughs> oh, mate, come on, it's the least I could have done. Dave, it's been an absolute oh, it's pleasure. It's been a one. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Paddy. Really appreciate it. Well, oh, you like these yeah, bad boys? Like you like them? them. <laughs> If you, you get a chance, check out the No Shame cast uh, Instagram page. Uh, l- follow it. Uh, loads of clips pop up on it every now. Robin has be popping them up here. So so it's not me wrecking your head all the time. It's Robin as well. Yeah. Look after yourself. Thank you. Pleasure.